Hey, Sir Will. Welcome to The Conspiracy Show, the show where we dispel silly conspiracy theories that... Silly? Elliot, just think with your mind a little bit. Just think. Just think a little. Okay, the Illuminati is in our school, in our home territory. Liam, this is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Tell me, Elliot, how many teachers are there in this school? Uh, I think there are 61. 61. That's it, Elliot. What is the square root of 61? Uh, the square root of 61 is... 7.81. That's right, and round it off, that's 8. 8, Elliot. 8! Okay, so? What is the eighth letter of the alphabet? H? That's right, it is, Mr. Klein. And how many teachers are there in this school who have names beginning with the letter H? There are eight. Eight as well. Hardy Major, Hatfield, Hickey Hill, Howitt, Hunter, Huo, Henneke. Hennick E, don't you see? Eight and E, eighty. Graduating students who have 80% or higher in at least four grade 11 or 12 science university courses or two grade 11 or 12 science college courses are asked to check the list of names posted on the science department office door to see if they are receiving a science certificate. Corrections or additions should be written on the list and any questions may be directed to Mr. Raja. You're not, you're not actually suggesting that those have any sort of correlation, like eight and E? Of course I am. It has Illuminati written all over it. Wait, you're telling me that graduating students with 80% or higher in four courses got a science certificate? That's right. What are the last two letters of science? C and E. And what are the first two letters of certificate? C E. C E. C E. And what is C E commonly used as an acronym for? That's right. Clean everywhere. And what's happening right now? Yes, Liam, it's Tim Horton's Clean Up the Capital, a citywide event. You know what that means? Everywhere. Clean everywhere. C-E. This clean up campaign that occurs every spring and fall lets friends work together, clean up an area in their neighborhood, and earn community hours. Clean Up the Capital runs from April 15th to May 15th, and you can register online or look in the volunteer binder for more information. Wait, Elliot, what did you... What did you just say? Oh, I just said you could register online. Register! Cash register! What do you find in a cash register? Money! What do we all want? More of it! More money! A raise! Raising money! That's a thing that's happening at Sorbel! We're raising money! Oh my... This year, 40,000 Canadian men will die from cancer. 97,700 Canadian men will be diagnosed with cancer. 93,600 Canadian women will be diagnosed with cancer. 36,000 women will die from cancer. One out of four Canadian deaths will be caused by cancer. Two out of five Canadians develop cancer in their lifetime. Every day, an average of 524 Canadians will be diagnosed with cancer. 210 will die. $50 donated allows newly diagnosed patients to call the Cancer Information Center to receive all the info needed on their cancer and road to recovery. $300 donated connects cancer patients to a support group to meet and talk to someone who has gone through a similar experience. Most patients have a hard time finding transportation to and from treatments. For every $35 donated, volunteers will drive patients to and from treatment facilities. The money that we raise does more than help prevent cancer. It helps Canadians who are currently fighting cancer, too. Rachel with an interview about girls volleyball. Good morning, Sir Will. I'm here with Christina and Charlie, who are part of Sir Will's volleyball team. So how long have you guys been playing volleyball? I've been playing for six years. And I've been playing for five years. Awesome. And so what time did you guys start practicing for volleyball this season? We start this year around January. 
after the break. That's a lot of practice time. And so you guys beat Franco Cite yesterday, correct? Yes, yeah. we did. And how does that feel? It's awesome. really good. Unexpected. Feels great. And so they yeah. came in the season having no losses yeah. at all. Yeah. And you guys were not expecting to do so well, and you beat them in three sets, correct? Yes. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations, guys. And so you have how many more games until the finals? Hopefully two more games. Hopefully, yeah. We yeah. have uh, semis on Monday. Okay. So if we win that, we're going to finals. That's great. I wish you guys the best of luck. Well, Sir Will, if you have any friends that are in volleyball, wish them good luck for the semis coming up soon, and we hope that you guys make it to the finals. That's all for me. Back to the desk. Hold on. Sword fighting? Volleyball? Do you know what these things have in common? They take energy. Do you know how people get energy? Caffeine. Coffee. Coffee gives people energy. Do you know what's happening at Sir Will? Coffee house, that's right. Start preparing your acts for the upcoming coffee house. The coffee house takes place on May 14th. Auditions are April 28th and 29th at lunch in the art room. Any singers who are looking for live musicians to accompany them can ask Miss Shrem after the play is done. Miss Shrem will do her best to pair you with someone who is interested in taking part. Thanks to Miss Shrem for her help. Oh no. For her help? Yes. Why do people offer help? Because they're kind, generous. They volunteer. Volunteers, ah! Volunteers are still needed to help with the sale of daffodil pins in Orleans and the Ottawa area this weekend, April 17th and 19th. Students who complete one shift not only receive community service hours, but will also be entered in a draw to win an iPad. You can sign up online at ottawa.myccsschedule.ca or contact their office at 613-723-1744 for further information. Speaking of which, students who are hoping to graduate this June should note that June 15th is the last day you can hand in your volunteer hours. Hold on. Hours? As in a clock? A clock hand spins 360 degrees. Right now, the temperature is rising. The degrees are higher. Why are the degrees higher? Because spring is starting. And what is Tim Hortons doing for spring again? That's right, clean up the capital. No, it's Clip. It's Clip. <laughs> Clean up the capital, oh, wow. clean up the it's capital. It's getting warmer all clean it up. Hello, Sir Will. Right now, it is 11 degrees, and right, and then after, it's going to be 18 degrees. But then it's going to be 6, and we get all the way up to 13 tomorrow afternoon. Now, if you look behind me, you can see a black and white picture. When were black and white pictures made? They were in the past. When were past things made? In the past. Now let's leave conspiracy theories in the past, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go right back to the desk. Oh, Aaron, back to the desk. The desk, who makes desks? Carpenters, you could say that carpenters make furniture as their craft. Crafts, and do you know what the Capital Artisans Guild is doing? That's know. right. They are build, that's right. Artisans Guild is holding their annual spring craft sale on April 25th and 26th. They will be doing crafting activities for this is kids crazy. and are looking for volunteers to help with these activities. Since the Artisans Guild is nonprofit, they can count towards students' volunteer hours. Please look in the volunteer binder for contact information. Hold up, contact? What's the first thing I do when I wake up? I put in my contacts right. to help me see. What, they help me see. Liam, how many eyes do I have? Elliot, wait, there's your eyes. There's something in between them. Oh, dear God, you're right. My nose. How did I miss the connections? I have only one nose. One nose, one s once upon a mattress, the school's musical, it's all so clear. Once upon a mattress is this year's musical. 
Tickets are now on sale. You can purchase them from anyone involved in the play or from Ms. Shrum. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. The show runs April 22nd through the 24th, each night at 7 p.m. with a matinee performance on the Friday. Wait, the 22nd through the 24th? That's three nights, each night at 7 p.m. Three plus 10, three plus seven equals 10. The show costs $10 for $10. adults. Adults run, the, run world. the world, the world, W. w. Sir, Will, Will, what do you say when you ask someone to prom? You say, will you go to prom with me, Elliot? Is this part of the show? 